Hi crafty friend, it's me Justine Dvorak. Today we're going to put the scout to work. So I have my little cutting plates there. I used cutting plates A, B, and the double C's. Now first on this card, I'm going to use paper from the Rainbow Twirl 2.0 and I use the 12 by 12 pack. I actually use that little wreath that's right in the center of the cover pack. And I die cut that out with a circle. And I'm going to add that onto my card base with the sentiment birthday wishes from this die set. And I'm going to top it off with this sweet little bird. You just saw me rotate the circle because I would like the bird to go on top of the circle. So I want the yellow to be kind of contrasting the bird, if you will. I am going to use some foam tape and pop up this card and that will finish off this first card of the video. I have a lot of cards for you today, so please be on the lookout for your very favorite and let me know in the comments just for fun. I love to know favorites and um, it kind of helps me know, I guess, what people like and I don't know, sometimes I feel like I get stuck in a rut of different color schemes or patterns or really even card layouts, so I like to know what are you liking? So be sure to let me know in the comments. Those reverse tweezers are coming in handy again. <laughs> All right, I'm going to add this sweet little bird on top of the wreath. And like I said, it's going to go in that blue section, which is perfect because yellow and blue are complementary colors. All righty. Well, there's that little set and that gnome is so stinking cute as well. I haven't used the gnome yet, but I love the bird. And I'm really trying to kind of have fun with some of my older embellishments that I have. Older, I don't even mean old in a bad way, but just some older ones that I have in my stash. My embellishment collection is getting very, very full, which makes my heart so full and happy as well. But I am going to finish off this card by adding a little bit of Wink of Stella to all of the white letters. And it really does pop with white letters on a black background. I just love that. Okay, now my next card, ay ay ay. <laughs> All of these are taped together and you're gonna see me cut in a second and it's gonna be a mess, which I'm leaving it in because um, you live and you learn, but I'm using these little blooms from the new die set that just came out. Oh, see, it just, it did not work because it, my paper started sliding, which I'm gonna go back here and actually glue the layers together instead of just tape so everything can work out. Uh, you know, like I said, you live and you learn, but whatever. I am going to also use these dies that I grabbed were from Vicky P's new collection. I love it. It's the Tunnel Scapes one, and this really is such a fun little abstract card for me. This makes my artsy fartsy heart excited because it's kind of just funky. It really doesn't have like a meaning I guess really to the background but it just works for my eye and it has movement with her dyes and then those hearts those floral pieces are just my favorite so here I'm using the hinge method just to glue that on I just used a little bit of tape there and then I'm gonna trim down the paper and now that I have it glued it's going to work just fine to cut it down I'll remove the paper and this paper is super super glossy this is again from that rainbow rainbow twirl 2.0 pack and I'm just gonna snip my card base down Shh, don't tell anyone it's just a little bit tinier than an a2 like just a tiny bit and yeah I was super excited to glue this down and I should have stamped this before but I took my chances and shocker my stamp actually worked the first time which it was kind of a gamble, not gonna lie, but I just told myself if it doesn't work out, uh, I don't know. I didn't really have a backup plan now that I think of it, but <laughs> those flowers are super cute on the tunnel. And like I said about embellishments, I have new ones that just came into my craft room from Spellbinders, the Color Essential Gems. Now they have gems, so I'm gonna pop on some of the blush and then a little bit of the berry. So that will finish off at card number two. This one is my iPad screensaver now. I needed something funky and fun for summer, so I really liked that card. <laughs> All right, now this card, I'm using the Stitched Thank You or Stitch For You. 
sentiment and I'm not stitching it. I know, crazy, isn't it? I love stitching, but I wanted to show you something fun with not stitching. And I just really liked the look of the dots, so I left it just as a die cut. And I love the result. I think the pattern paper is really putting in all the work for me here. And the die set I have that looks like a little postage stamp on there is from the Bayfair collection. Now, if you remember, card number two had all that pretty watercolor paper, and look at that. I'm using the little extras on this card and adding the flowering tree dye. And again, like I said, I don't know how many times I really should say artsy fartsy in a video, but this is an artsy fartsy card. So <laughs> the color is pouring out of the tree. At least that was the look I was going for here. So I'm going to glue all of that on and then snip off the taped part in just a bit here. Once it's under the tree, to me, I think that that was the easiest way to kind of get the tree lined up with all of those beautiful squirrel, swirls, <laughs> squirrels. Oh, I wish there was more squirrel dyes, but no swirls. And this tree really does pack a punch. It's tiny, but mighty, kind of like the Scout. And I'm gonna add some flowers on this and some gems. It's gonna be a cute little card. And of course, I'm gonna finish it with a Better Press sentiment because I love Better Press. I think this one actually was one that said, Dad, thanks for everything. But sometimes you just need a thank you card, not just for a dad. So I did chop off the dad on this one. <laughs> I mean, plenty of Father's Day cards and to me, this is a little more like Mother Earth vibes, so maybe this would be a mother card. I don't know. <laughs> By the way, my dad loved, 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 loved his Father's Day card. I gave him the one that was the light up lighthouse, so I think it would be super fun to, um, well, I think it is super fun to make cards for people like that and keep them in mind as I'm crafting. It's just the best. Oh, these gems are so cute on those little flowers. They fit perfectly in the centers. I think the die does come with little circles that you could die cut and put in there, but anytime there's a dainty flower with an inside, I like to just skip the die part for the inside and just put a gem because I love that. <laughs> All right, on my next card here, I'm going five by seven. And I'm using the watering can that's called Sprinkle and Grow, which, hello, I love that as a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> Popping in a ton of florals and really just having my a go at flower arranging, I suppose. <laughs> now, some of these florals look really good with the green above the flower. And then the red ones here have the greenery behind the red flower. Don't mind my grandfather clock. Sorry. Oh no, it's gonna ding 10 times. I'm gonna pause the voiceover and we'll continue in just a second. Wowzer, my grandfather clock loves to be super dramatic in these videos. I love it, but I understand that some people don't, so we'll just keep her moving here. All right, this watering can I did die cut out with some silver mirror cardstock. Anything that is metallic, or kind of like a shiny element in real life. I love using the mirror cardstock for just to add a little bit of shine to the project without adding glitter. So I love that. And then the shaped die that I have there is from the little mushroom collection that came out from Spellbinders this month too. And I love a good nesting die. If you know, you know. And then the patterned paper I have there is from the Bayfair collection, which I've loved that paper. I think that specific paper that I'm using on this card is one of my favorites. I would love that as a wallpaper in my house. I think that would be so pretty and elegant. I love navy blue, and I think with the reds and the pinks and the yellows, it just is so cute. So here I am flower arranging and just kind of fussing a little bit so if you're like me maybe <laughs> you um you spend a long time fussing with your flowers which I certainly did here but I'm going to show you a little trick for keeping them in place so I'm just sliding them in the hole here 
And then my reverse tweezers is going to help me out in a second. <laughs> like I said, I am fussing around with these little ladies. Oh, by the way, the sentiment is again a better press one. I think that is also from a press once, cut once plate. Look what I'm doing. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm using tape. I know, tape. So easy. No glue globs. It's just boom. They're all together now. And whoops, I forgot little one little fern there, so I'll just sneak that under the tape. <laughs> And then this little lone red flower, I think I just end up gluing on. I ended up not having enough green scrap paper to make a stem for this one, and there's plenty of stems already. So sometimes with florals anyway, it's good to add extra flowers to kind of beef it up without having tons and tons of greenery. So a little tip for you. I've been big on using up my scrap stash right now. The little dies like this or die cutting in general where there's different colors is always inspiring for me to use up my little scraps and the scout and these little dies have been perfect for using those up now to look ahead next month july if you see on the coming soon part of the website from spellbinders they have a ton of new products they have three pages of new product Side note, I am just adding a little support under the sentiment here with some scrap. Okay, anyway, they have a ton of new product. I am goo goo gaga over the Peacock collection and the Better Press sentiments, the Christmas stuff. It's so good. So please check that out and just be excited about videos coming from me. Whoops, I forgot that red flower. <laughs> but there's going to be some videos in July that you're not going to want to miss. There's tons of Better Press products coming out. So if you're a Better Press babe, be sure to subscribe and join the Better Press babes on Facebook, as well as the Spellbinder Maker Group. Um, when this video goes up, it will be the 20th, which is three days after. That's just to hold the flowers, by the way. Um, three days after we hit 10,000 subscribers or 10,000 members on that group. So if you're excited about um, card making, be sure to join the giveaway for that. Okay. <laughs> Terry and Dottie <laughs> have made a little debut here on my channel. These dogs are so cute. Terry's the terrier and Dottie is the Dalmatian. So cute. I'm pairing these with the thank you die that, again, I put the white on some colored cardstock and it looks really good. I think it pops very well. And then I put some flowers in Terry's mouth like the dog is giving someone flowers. I just, I love that. So, <laughs> little side note for you there. If you are still watching this part of the video, I would love you to comment your favorite dog breed in the comments as well. I think that would be kind of fun. My favorites are Yorkies because they're so cute and our family dog is a Yorkie, so, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> I think I might have to make my mom a Yorkie card now that I, I see this terrier. I mean, it's not a perfect Yorkie, but I think I could make it work with some Copic coloring. <laughs> Oh, anyway, um, I have a really wonderful card at the end that is kind of like a daydream kind of card. I almost thought about putting it as its own video, but I guess if you're still watching all the way to the end, you'll be able to see it. So kudos to you if that is you. I know I'm really chatty tonight. I don't know what's up with me, but hopefully you're here for it. <laughs> There's my little doggy thank you card. All right, now this is my brainchild daydream lover dover card. I just, oh, never mind. Putting it away for just a second. Adding some embellishments and then I'll bring it out again. <sighs> this mushroom card, you guys. I, I don't know. It's just, to me, so stinking cute. It's got a little snail. The snail, spoiler alert, almost did not make it on my final project. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I went a little mixed media with some of the pieces on the mushroom. So let's dive into that lady now that I've gone well over my embellishment limit on this card, but I figured go big or go home. Let's add some more. 
I added in some more. These ones are the smoky topaz. I just had to add a little, little bling to those red flowers. Since the die has a little indent, it needed something in there. Oh, look at that. Cute as a button. Okay, speaking of cute as a button, I love this mushroom house. I think it is so, so cute. It's little, but you can size it up or down for different things. It's called the Mushroom Mansion with, which, hello, that is so cute of a name. But I paired it with this jar die, and this is from a year ago, large die of the month, the one that was called Whale in a Jar. So that was kind of a pretty popular video on my channel, so chances are if you're subscribed to me, you probably saw that one but it had a whale in this jar and I thought let's put the mushroom mansion in the jar. So I didn't film making the background. It's blue paper and then I spattered it with white spatter from Spellbinders and then I built the jar in the whale in the jar video so if you want to see how those pieces go together you certainly could watch that. But I'll just add the greenery and the rocks the rocks are also from the whale in the jar video, which I thought was kind of funny. Someone actually commented on that video. I know it's from a year ago, but they commented today that it looks like they look like gumdrop rocks, which they certainly do. So maybe you could make a gumdrop card. I don't know. It's fun to kind of use your stash for different ways. <laughs> anyway, the house is a pretty simple assembly. It has only a few pieces. And then I ended up gluing some yellow paper behind the windows so it looked like the windows were lit up and just kind of a dreamy little card. I did some ink blending on these greens and then I did some Copic dots on the rocks and the mushrooms were very easy to assemble. They were only two pieces. Now the snail. Let's talk about the snail that almost did not make it on the card, but the snail... <laughs> I die cut out his shell with this paper that I had tried to kind of like distress and I've had that little scrap of paper in my neutral brown box for a long long time and I thought it was perfect for his shell. So I'm so glad that I was able to use up that little scrap because I put a lot of effort into distressing it <laughs> and I thought it's about time I use it. You see me cut the flowers here and you saw me cut the greenery. I would just like to encourage you to do that with some of your dyes. If it doesn't fit where you want it, cut it. Make it work, glue it behind something. Just, I don't know, if, if it's not the right size, make it work, you know? Like Tim Gunn on Project Runway. Make it work, people. <laughs> And this little mushroom I end up putting on the roof because I thought that that would be kind of fun. But I end up putting something else on the roof. So just hang on. But even these little mushrooms would be so cute on a little gift tag. My original idea was to have the snail kind of in the front. But that open area just spoke to me. And that's where he's going to end up. <laughs> Anyway, please let me know your favorites in the comments. I think my favorite has to be my mushroom house here. I did say that I would send that off to a friend from high school, so that's going to be in the mail to her if I can find it in my craft room. <laughs> I did this video a couple days ago, but anyway, let me know your favorite in the comments. I think they're all kind of fun in their own way, and I've been trying to kind of branch out and do some kind of funkier stuff, so... Hopefully you liked the artsiness of some of those cards there and didn't mind the chatty chatty video. I think I should probably put chatty in the title or something, but here's a pretty look at every single card and just know that I really appreciate you being here with me either today, tonight, this morning, whenever you're watching, wherever you're at. And I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so and like the video. It definitely helps me get into the craft rooms of more people and really just keep this card world going, you know? Anyway, we'll see you next time. My crafty friend.